All right, you guys, pull up a cheer. We're going to talk Detroit Lions. We're going to talk draft. And we're just going to talk. We're just going to have a conversation on today. So pull up a cheer, sit back, relax, and we're just going to talk. All right, guys, you know, heading into this season, you know, there's a lot of movement going on, a lot of excitement for a lot of teams. A lot of teams are making moves. A lot of teams are getting stronger. Cleveland Browns definitely made a power move on today. Picking up Deshaun Watson. Uh, you got Baker Mayfield, who may be on his way to either the Colts or the Seahawks or whatever team that wants to uh, trade for Mayfield. You see a lot of movement going on, and you see a lot of teams getting stronger. You see a lot of teams getting better. You see Allen Robinson going to the Rams. You see just so much movement going on. You see the movement with Russell Wilson uh, departing Seattle to go to Denver. It's a lot going on. You see Carson Wentz going over to Washington. Now, should Detroit hit the panic button? No. But at the same time, let's let, let's just be real about the Detroit Lions. We have no stars on our team. There is nobody on this team that scares you offensively or defensively. Um, I know we used to have that back in the days when we used to have a guy, i.e. Barry Sanders, i.e. Calvin Johnson. Those guys used to scare you on offense. Defense, when you had Sue, yeah, Sue used to be, you know, a little gritty, a little rough. The Dan Campbell type, you know what I mean? And you're looking at your roster and you're looking at your team and you see all these other teams in the NFL getting better. And you look at your team and saying, man, how can my team get better? Well, the only thing for the Detroit Lions and the only way the Lions can get better is find premium talent. And I'm talking about blue chip type of caliber players. Doesn't matter if the Lions have nine or ten picks. It doesn't matter. What matters is, is that they go into this draft, go in and get guys that really are going to make a difference in 2022. I've said this so many times, guys, and you can go back and look into a lot of the videos that I've talked about certain players. Um, I've did so many prospects for you guys, and uh, you can go through and watch those videos at any time and hear my opinion on certain players. Detroit needs talent. And I, and I'm, I might have to say this a thousand times, but this team is not going to go anywhere until they find some talent. Every team that you're looking at is building their team with talent. If you go over to the Rams, yeah, they got our old quarterback, Matthew Stafford. He's a face over there now, and he's going to be cashing out pretty soon. He's going to get a new deal from the Rams. Allen Robinson taking his talents over to the Rams. Don't know what's going to happen with OBJ. They could possibly bring him back as well. Um, they can possibly uh, sh ship out Robert Woods. There's a lot of moving pieces. They got stars over there. Look at the team, guys. Look at the criteria of the team. Aaron Donald, Leonard Floyd, Jalen Ramsey. They got faces over there. What do the Lions have? Who on the Detroit Lions scare you? Whether it be Swift on offense, whether it be Jared Goff, uh, Amin Ross St. Brown, Amani Warrior. Yeah. We got a lot of homework to do. The Browns got better. Look at the Browns roster. I'm just giving you guys an example of what the Lions need to do. Look at the talent. We know that Deshaun Watson is box office. Has a cannon for an arm. Has size. And he's a dual threat quarterback. Which makes him extra deadly and dangerous. That's what we need in Detroit. We need talent. I don't care how you got to go draft it. If the Lions take BPA all the way through the draft, I don't care. Defensively or offensively, we need talent. This team don't have no stars. You look at everybody team. Look at the Raiders. They just picked up two stars, right? They already got Dar uh, Darren Waller at tight end, right? And now you add one of the best wide receivers from Green Bay over to the Raiders. 
Devontae Adams. And then you pick up one of the uh, one of the best pass rushers in the NFL, Chandler Jones, and add him to the mix of the Raiders. Then you look at the, uh, the Chargers making power moves, picked up Khalil Mack to bring along that defense. Teams are making moves. The Lions, we don't make any power moves. Tim Boyle is not a power move. David Blah is not a power move. Bringing back all of our guys is not a power move. I understand it. I know what the Lions are doing. They want to save some money. And they're going about it the smart way. But when it comes to talent on your team, that you do not have. Let's be real, Detroit Lions fans. Tell me who on this team scares you. If you're going against, let's say, for instance, you're the Cleveland Browns and you're scouting the Detroit Lions. Who are you scouting? Who's dangerous? Oh, yeah, yeah, it might be Craig Reynolds, right, huh? Jamal Williams? No, even Swift. Yeah, he, he's explosive, right? It might be Swift. Where's the stars at? Where's the star quarterback at? Jared Goff, first overall, a couple seasons ago, right? He's the guy, right? He's the man, right? Are teams afraid of Jared Goff? I think not. Everybody else is busy this offseason getting better. Where we just stayed the same. And I'm just keeping it raw with you guys. The Detroit Lions will not go anywhere until we find talent. Like I told you, where's our Ed Reed at? Where's our Bobby Wagner? Hey, where's our Lawrence Taylor at? Are you afraid of anybody on the defense? Oh, you scared of Charles Harris, right? No, nah, no, nah, you might not. Nah, nah, you might be scared of Julian Acquire, right? No, nah, what about his brother? You might be scared of him, right? Romeo Acquire. There's nobody on the Detroit Lions that you are afraid of, whether it be on the offense or defense. We got to get this thing together, guys. We got to get it together in Detroit. I've said this, guys, so many times, is that the Lions need talent. I don't care where you're picking guys at. Just go find the talent. This team needs dogs. This team needs werewolves. This, this team needs silverback gorillas. We need them. Where's our TJ Watt at? Where's our Jalen Ramsey at? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's our Buddha Baker at? Somebody tell me. I'm asking the question. Tell me. Tell me where do you see the talent being at? We need talent in Detroit. Embrace yourself for another season that could be like a roller coaster up and down. A lot of mixed emotions. If Jared Goff is playing well, everybody's going to be loving Jared Goff. Jared Goff comes out, starts crappy, throwing interceptions, uh, dinking and dunking the ball all day long. Mm, people may start talking. Little birds might start chirping. I'm telling you guys, we need talent on this team. The Lions are not going anywhere until they find talent. They have to find nine guys that can make a difference. Ten guys, nine to ten guys that's going to make a difference. We need those guys. I know we argue over who we should draft. Should we draft Malik Willis? Should we draft um, Desmond Ritter? Should we draft Kayvon Thibodeau? 
Should we draft Kyle Hamilton? Should we draft Aiden Hutchinson? Who do we take? No, is that guy going to be a boom or is that guy going to be a bust? We argue over this all day long, day and night. We argue over talent because you know in your heart of hearts that this team is heartless. We don't have any players on our team that make anybody scared. We don't have a pass rush on this team that makes you scared. We don't have any freaks at linebackers that put pressure, pressure on you and make you afraid when you come across the middle. We don't have a ball hawk safety. We don't have. Now, I'll give a shout out to Amani Warrior because definitely he was big time this season having six interceptions. Stepped up his game big time. And that's something to build on. But you got to go fill out this defense. You got to go get your stars on offense. We haven't had a thousand yard running back in a long time. And it's going to probably be even longer because now we're doing run by committee. So we may not never see a thousand yard running back in Detroit because it's a run by committee now. Now you have Jamal. Now you have Godwin and uh, Craig Reynolds. I'm telling you guys, the ultimate goal and the ultimate thing for the Lions is to prepare themselves for the draft. When you look at everybody in the holes that they're filling on their team, they're getting better. But all we did is stay at the same level. And normally in the offseason, teams get better. Nobody knew today that Deshaun Watson was going to shake up the NFL and spurn the Atlanta Falcons because the Falcons thought they probably had him. And then the Cleveland Browns come out of nowhere and say, no, we're going to go full force to get Deshaun Watson to be our quarterback. Detroit, listen up, man. We got to go find the talent. We got to go find those guys that's going to make us better. I don't care what you got to do. If you got to look at all prospects that are in this draft, we brought back Tim Boyle. We brought back David Bly. I know why we brought him back because they're familiar with the offense. But really, nobody else is capable of learning the offense. Everybody has to learn. Nobody else is capable of learning the playbook. Everybody got to learn. We have a lot of things that we got to work on, man. And the number one key for us is to draft well. That's all we have in Detroit is to be able to draft well and get this thing done right. And if we get it done right, then skies could be the limit. I know we want to hit on every single prospect that we have. It's going to take some time. Yeah, I know. I know. I've been hearing all the, the conversations. I know that it's going to take time to build this Lions roster. It's been taking time since 1957. We've been rebuilding this team since 1957. When are you going to find an all-pro linebacker? It's been about, what, 28 years? 31 years, somewhere in there? Between 28 and 31 years? Chris Spillman was your last all-pro linebacker? That's an indictment to this franchise. Out of all the linebackers you drafted after Chris Spillman, besides... DeAndre Levy, because he got snubbed one year of being a uh, Pro Bowl caliber linebacker. But besides Levy, you really have had, you haven't really had success at linebacker. You don't have a ball hawk like Glover Quinn that is able to intercept everything and make big plays like Glover Quinn did. Tracy Walker is cool, 
but he's more like a box safety, more so than a free safety, a ball hawking safety. So you have to put him in a position where he can where he can succeed as a safety on the team, and that's in the box. And you have to go out and get that guy. So I don't care if people are mad if the Lions take a Malik Willis at number two. I don't care that if people get mad if they take Kyle Hamilton at number two. I don't care if they decide to say, hey, you guys thought that we were taking Aiden Hutchinson and you thought that we were taking uh, Kayvon Thibodeau, but we decided to take Jermaine Johnson. We watched this kid at the Senior Bowl. We saw how dominant he was. We saw how he dominated college football this season. You guys thought that we were going to take Kayvon Thibodeau, but we had our eyes on Jermaine Johnson. We don't know what's going to happen. Oh, you guys thought that we were going to stay where we're at? We're trading back. We found a trade partner. I don't care whatever Detroit has to do to be able to get the talent on his roster. They got to do it. Like I said, there is nobody on this team that you are afraid of. When you play against the Lions, there's nobody that you're afraid of. Swift, is he explosive? Yeah, he's explosive. But at the same time, he doesn't scare you. He's explosive, but he doesn't scare you. Jared Goff don't scare you. I mean, Ra had a decent season, but he's not going to scare you. Charles Harris had a decent season. He's not going to scare you. There is nobody on this team, on this roster, that's going to scare you. Detroit, listen to me. Listen to me and hear me clearly. You have the greatest opportunity lying before you in April. And that's to go out and find some dogs. That's to go out and find some werewolves. That's to go out and find some silverback gorillas. You have the greatest opportunity lying right ahead of you. We must hit on our picks and we must find some stars. Detroit doesn't have any stars on this team and it's hurting us, man. Man, is it hurting us big time. We don't have the dominant player like Sue was on this team. We don't have the ball hawk like Glover Quinn. We don't have the guys on defense that make plays all the time. We don't have it. We don't have the quarterback that uh, teams are game planning for on Sunday. Jared Goff is decent, but are they really game planning for Jared Goff? We got a lot of things to work on in Detroit, man. We have a lot of things to work on, guys, and that's being able to go out and hit on these draft picks. That is the greatest thing that is before us is to go out and to make sure that you find guys that can be stars in Detroit because nobody is knocking down the doors, the corridors or whatever in Detroit. No free agent is wanting to come to Detroit. You know why? Because Detroit don't win. If Detroit starts to win football games, then players on other teams will start coming. Yeah, guys will come if you overpay them. But do really, do you want to do that? You don't want to overpay guys like you used to do in the past. You want to be able to draft some guys that you can groom. And I got to say, the only player that I've liked right now that the Lions have allowed to be groomed is Amani Awarie. He got a chance to sit back and to learn and then to finally get his crack at the position and then really excel at the position. You're going to have you're going to be forced pretty soon to to pay this guy. Or you're going to have to part ways with them. 
Detroit, we got to get it together, man. You're watching all these NFL teams get better. I'm not saying that we need to go out to the big names. I'm not telling you that. And I'm not saying that to you. We don't have to go out to big names. We just need to get guys that can make plays out on the field. That's what we need to do. We need to get guys and find guys that want to play in Detroit and guys that want to be all pro caliber players in Detroit, guys that may, may want to make a name for themselves in Detroit. And that's what we need. And it starts one brick at a time, one draft pick at a time. We got to get this thing right, y'all. We got to get it right. We must find a star linebacker. We must find a star safety. We must eventually find a franchise quarterback. Even if it's not this year, we got to be looking for one pretty soon. Jared Goff will be evaluated this season. And I'm sure if Jared Goff has a wonderful season, he's going to get an extension. And he is not going to have anything to worry about because he'll be well taken care of by the Lions. That's only if he has a great season. There is no excuses for Jared Goff. He's going to have all the weapons at his display. He's going to have the running backs. He's going to have the receivers. What else do you need, man? Go out there and perform. And play at a high level every given Sunday. Because he is on the clock. The clock is ticking right now. As he's, he's making preparations for this upcoming season. He's going to get scrutinized. He's going to be talked about. But how will he answer the call? Will he go out there and perform? So that's, that's my biggest thing, guys, is that we just got to get better. We got to find ways to be able to win games. And we got to find the talent. So Detroit, go out there and draft correctly. Hit on your draft picks. Make great decisions when it comes to the draft. Get the guys that you know that can be game changers. Guys that are going to come on the team and, and make a difference. Rookies, they're going to come in balling from day one. Because that's truly what the Lions need. They need ballers. They need guys that can make plays offensively and defensively. And I think if the Lions do that, they'll be fine. They must hit on these draft picks. Because free agency, we just brought all of our guys back. That's all we did was bring every, just about every player back. So we still have the same team. We didn't really make any power moves. So we need to go out there and we need to handle our business in the draft. Because truly at the end of the day, that's where you're going to leave your mark at. All right, you guys, this is Raw Detroit. I'm out of here until next time. Peace.